Good morning, preschoolers. Today, it's Miss Galfo. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. I miss all of you. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. And today we're gonna to talk about a very special day. Take a look at the pictures below. One, two, and three. What do you think we're learning about today? It's called Earth Day. What do you think Earth Day means? You're right. It's a day where we make sure that we're taking care of our planet that we live on, Earth. Us humans have to make sure we take care of the planet that we live on. There are many different ways that we can help the planet. And you will learn more about that today and tomorrow and the next day. We're going to be talking about it for a few days. But today is just an extra special day for us to really think about Earth and how we can take care of our lovely planet. Take a look down below. What shape is the planet Earth? Right, it's a circle. What colors do you see? Blue and green. Why do you think we see blue on planet Earth? What do you think that means? The blue is all of the bodies of water that we have on planet Earth. What do you think the green spaces mean? They stand for all of the land that's on Earth. And this is America right here, and New Jersey's probably right here. So we have our land that's green and our water that's blue. Let's start off with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand, put your hand over your heart, and say the pledge with me. Are you ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Excellent. Here's our good morning song. Oh, look, what's on her shirt? A rainbow. And there's a beautiful butterfly up here. And what's this called? The sun. I see flowers and bees. This must be a very happy, upbeat, good morning song. I miss singing with all of you. All right, today's weather. Are you ready? Take a look outside. You can pause this if you have to. Look out a window and tell me what's the weather. Sunny, cloudy, snowy, is it partly sunny, windy, or rainy? Good job. And here's our weekly focus wall. We're still talking about our beautiful soft pastels. And we're still on the shape. What shape is this? An oval. Last time we talked about an oval is shaped like an egg, and this week an oval is also shaped like what thing is this? A lemon. <laughs> and what letter is down here on the bottom? Letter S. Can you point to the capital, the uppercase letter S? Go ahead and trace it. Point to the lowercase s and trace that as well. Now make the letter S sign language and make the sound. Are you ready? S Excellent. And this week's themes, we're talking about plant life cycles and today we're talking about Earth Day and tomorrow you'll learn about the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle with Miss Carabito. And then on Friday, we're going to talk about something else. Here's our calendar of everything that we've learned so far. And here's today, April 22nd is 
Earth Day. Our sign of the day is Earth. So you're going to put your one hand out and your other hand goes on top of your hand that's out and it's shaped almost like the planet Earth. And you're just going to rock it back and forth, kind of like the sun is rotating in the sky. Go ahead and practice. Great work. I have a challenge for you. If you remember the sign happy, and if you remember the sign day, you can sign happy Earth Day. Are you ready? Happy Earth Day. Excellent. All right. So what is Earth Day? What do you think it is? What does it mean, Earth Day? Yes, it's a day where we make sure we honor our planet Earth. And we just check up to see that we're doing everything we possibly can to help our planet Earth. Because that's where we live. And we should take care of the place where we live. Here's a picture of planet Earth from space. Before we talked about how we see blue and green, what do you think the white is on our planet Earth? We talked about this a couple weeks ago. It begins with the letter C. Yes, those are the clouds that we see. It's a very neat picture. Has anyone ever seen this symbol before? I want you to keep an eye out for this symbol. I feel like you're going to see it a lot now that you've learned about it. It's the recycle, reduce, reuse symbol. You'll talk about that tomorrow. And I like this picture. It says, keep it green, keep it clean. And down here is a picture of Earth. And does the Earth look sad or does he look happy? The Earth looks happy because we're taking care of the Earth by recycling and reusing and reducing, which you'll learn about tomorrow. What do you think this is a picture of? What's this person doing? Right, this person's hugging Earth. It looks like this person loves Earth and wants to take care of it by making sure that we recycle bottles and anything that can be recycled and making sure that we don't litter, we don't throw things on the outside, on the ground, like garbage. And this person, what do you think he's doing? Cleaning up. And last but not least, I put a picture of bugs and butterflies on here. Why do you think I did that? Right, bugs and butterflies and birds have a lot to do with keeping our earth nice and clean and making sure that everyone's healthy. Bugs help our world and so do butterflies and actually if you plant a garden outside it will attract certain butterflies and certain bugs and they're very important for the process of how plants grow so we need them around so make sure you keep those bugs and butterflies safe what kind of bugs do you see here can you point to the ant good can you point to the pink butterfly? Here it is. Can you point to the snail? All the way up here. Can you point to the ladybug? Excellent. And last but not least, can you point to the dragonfly? Good job. And here are some Earth Day activities that you can do at home if you have these materials. But like we always say, make sure that you, you can be creative. We, we know that you don't always have all this stuff at home. But if you do, here are some ideas. This one is newspaper. You practice cutting up the newspaper with scissors and you glue it on your paper. You can make a circle and paint it like the Earth or you can do rainbow, whatever you want to do. This one, you take a balloon and you get blue and green paint and you can do balloon stamping. 
and it looks like little tiny earths. This one, all you need is coffee filters and blue and green paint or watercolors or markers, and you can make earth. It comes up really beautiful on those coffee filters. This one is a sensory bin. You fill a big, large plastic tub of water, and you put anything around your house you have, like fish or rocks or anything you want to use in your water bin. You can practice putting caps on and taking caps off and closing containers. If you, This is a great way to recycle and reuse plastic bottles that you have at home. Over here is mud soup. So you just go outside and you play in the dirt or your sandbox or whatever you have around and you pretend to make mud soup. And over here is one of my favorites. I used to always make this at home with my mom and my brothers and sisters. It's called dirt. Have you ever ate dirt before? It's chocolate pudding and Oreo cookies and gummy worms. It's delicious. It's very simple too. So the recipe's up here if you want to make it. Here's an Earth Day scavenger hunt that you can do with your families. You can keep the screen up, you can pause it, you can print it, whatever works for you. But you just have an adult read this side to you and you go and find it in your house. So an example, or, or it's outside too. So for example, it says find a bee. So you can go outside and see if you can find a bee. Or find a, the recycling symbol right here, like I said before. Find something green, find an animal, could be your pet or could be a toy animal. Uh, find three pieces of trash you can throw away. That's excellent. So if you do the Earth Day scavenger hunt, make sure you tell your teacher and have fun. And this is just a nice slide for us to reflect back on what we did in November. Does anybody remember what this is? Yes, it's our Tiger Pride Preschool Thanksgiving Parade. You all made balloons, you planned them out, and you decorated them on the day of the parade. And the marching band led us, and we marched all around the school. How did you feel during that parade? I felt very proud of you. First, we read the book Balloons Over Broadway. This is everyone in Mrs. Ganley's classroom. We listened to the story, and then we decorated our balloons over here. Here's the Hackettstown Marching Band. They're wear, they wear black and orange because that's Hackettstown's colors. What balloon did you make for our parade? Did you have fun marching in the parade? Me too. I miss you guys. I miss all of you. And here's a story that I read to you. It's called The World is Waiting for You. That's perfect for Earth Day. It says over here the activity. The world is a beautiful place. Go on a nature walk with your family and find the beauty of nature right here in Hackettstown. And today's special is music with Miss Karajet. Make sure you go to the school website and then go to our school and our staff and look for Miss Karajet. And we also posted this on the Google Classroom, but these are some centers that you can try at home this week. Library, blocks, pretend play, art, and STEM. All right, boys and girls, happy Earth Day. Have a wonderful day. Miss you.